Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? I can't wait till we're together in person again. This is How To Tuesday, and I would like to do another little bit of a different spin on how to. We've made some things in the past, and the last time I talked about how to make good choices. And I really want to talk to you today about how to manage your anger. Anybody out there ever get angry? Anybody? I know I do. Some days I'm cool as a cucumber. Nothing can shake my inner core. And then there are some days I feel like every little thing just goes choo, 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 just pokes at me and I go, ah! And I think I found a video. I know I found a video that's a little bit helpful with maybe understanding our anger and some steps we can take, five steps that we can take to calm ourselves down. So if you're interested, go ahead and watch it with me. So here's our video. And I say we give it a little watch together. Have you ever gotten so mad with someone that you ended up doing something that you really regretted afterwards? I've done that so many times, I can't even count them. When we lose our temper, we lose some control of our minds and bodies at that moment. That's just what anger can do to us. It takes over us and makes us say and do things that we would normally never say or do. Because we're not fully thinking straight when we're mad. Which is why we need to learn to manage anger, right? That way, we're always in control of what we say and do and there wouldn't be any regrets later on. So, how do we go about managing our anger? Well, whenever I get mad, I like to practice what I call the A, B, C, D, E steps. They're five steps which help me manage my anger. A stands for awareness. Before I can do anything about my anger, I first have to be aware of it. If not, anger just takes over and it's like I'm on a roller coaster, but not at all a fun one. So when I feel myself getting mad, I focus on the anger and I even think to myself, Oh look, I'm starting to lose my temper. B stands for breathing. Once I'm aware that I'm getting angry, the next thing is to do something about it. So I breathe. I take deep breaths, as many as I need to take, to start to calm my body down. In fact, deep breathing is not only good for when you're feeling mad, but also when you're feeling sad or nervous. Try it, it really does work. C stands for counting. I count in between my deep breaths. So it goes kind of like this. it right by the time I've done steps A, B and C, I've calmed down enough to not need it. But if I'm still feeling out of sorts, I'll put some distance between myself and the person that made me mad. Usually I'll go for a walk outside. And E stands for express. No, not the express train, but expressing myself. Now that I'm calmer and more in control of my emotions, I express my anger and the reasons for my anger to the other person. Basically, I make sure they understand the cause of my anger and we talk about it. Talking about anything, especially something that's upsetting, is very important because you both get to see each other's point of view and talk it out. So there you go. That's A, B, C, D, E. Want to recap? A stands for being aware that you're angry. B, deep breathing. C, counting to 10 real slow. D, 
distance between yourself and the person that made you mad. And E. Expressing yourself. Try these five steps the next time you lose your temper and let me know how it goes. I would really love to hear from you. So guys, I really hope the next time you feel anger, you'll have the wits about you to stop. Think. Be aware. Tell yourself, I am really angry. And then decide, are you going to stay angry or are you going to try to calm yourself down? And I will say it's easier to stay angry, but then you usually get yourself into trouble and other people and yourself usually get hurt. If not in your body, but in your mind, hurt feelings, words that you shouldn't have said, it's better to try to stop yourself, calm down, and move on. I found that video very helpful, but your battle starts right here, in here. And we've got some hard work to do after that, but it's not impossible. So, I hope you practice it with me. Just know I'm over here praying for you and I'm cheering you on. Bye.